Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Okay, today we're going to continue with our uh, fiber study for 2024. And today we're going to take a look at Raimi. Now, I'd never heard of Raimi before, but it's been around for thousands of years. So, <laughs> um, it says here, uh, the history, historical origins is from the Malay Peninsula, about 4000 BC. It's a non-stinging member of the nettle plant family. Okay, and uh, once again, I purchased this from Harside Fibers on Etsy. I will leave a link to uh, where the this particular batch that I bought. I don't think she's selling them right now, but I'll leave you a link to it anyways, um, in case you want to try it yourself at some point. Again, I paid for this out of my own pocket, and I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form on any of this. Now, um... I did a little look up on Raimi, and I'm looking at the Woolery, um, and they have some Raimi top here. Um, and it says here, uh, Raimi is a plant, uh, Bohemia nivea, also known as Chinese nettle, Chinese silk plant, China grass, white Raimi, green Raimi, and Rhea. Native to China, India, and Indonesia, that has been cultivated for more than 5,000 years. Today, it is one of the most commonly fibers used in Japanese textile. The relatively high protein content of the leaves makes for a quality feed for sheep, cattle, pigs, and other farm animals. The Raimi plant can be harvested up to five times per year and can exhibit a protective lifespan of 30 years. For hand spinning, Raimi fiber is similar to flax in that it can be either wet or dry spun. Wet spun fired fiber yields a softer yarn with higher sheen. Dry spun fiber will produce a hairier, low luster yarn. Raimi fabric and Raimi blend textiles should be stored flat as the fibers are somewhat brittle and will break. Avoid excessive folding or pressing hard creases in woven Raimi fabrics. Okay. I uh, see it's uh, more absorbent than cotton, breathes well, like linen, will break if crease folded in the same place. One of the strongest natural fibers, lacks elasticity, blends well with silk, will not shrink, and rot resistant. Okay. Interesting, interesting fiber. So, let's take a look at it real quick. Let's open this up. Uh... And this, it feels fairly soft. Um, it's not like um, hemp or um, or flax. In and, and that's it, you feel that it's kind of brittle. I mean, this feels soft. It's almost like those other fibers that we've been spinning the texel and banana or whatever. These other ones that we've spun kind of feels like that but let's go ahead and pull up a staple length of this wow <laughs> let me pull another one just to make sure look at that long long staples um let me see what this amounts to so pull it back over so about seven inches staple length of this thing um now i think i'm gonna wet spin it because i don't like the the hairy kind of fibers um when you dry spin um some of this stuff so i think i'm gonna wet spin it i do have a, a cup of water here behind me i'm also probably only gonna do a single ply um and i may or may not have to spin this from the fold um when i when i spin um, my personal um, experience with spinning a uh, flax top or, or, or what's it called, um, toe flax, was it didn't want to draft very well. So I had to spin it from the fold and then it, it did much better. I think it did the same thing with the hemp too when I spun that. Um, but we'll find out. We'll try, we'll try spinning it from the end and see how well it does. And if not, I'm probably going to spin it from the fold. This may take a while. It might take me more than the one day that I usually uh, 
do the spinning and and applying and whatnot on it and i may or may not have to boil it afterwards like you do with cotton and flax and hemp i have to find out so let me get the wheel set up and we'll record a little bit of me spinning this um i don't know how much <laughs> we'll have in there um but let's give it a shot
Okay, it's the same day. Um, I just finished spinning. Uh, I did not ply. I just did a single on this. Um, and here's what we got. Um, very drapey. Um, I've got about 100 yards out of it. Um, it was roughly 16 to 18 wraps per inch. There was a bit of thick and thin in there. So I'm just estimating it to be about 16 wraps per inch. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to boil it like I, like you would with cotton or, um, or, or flax or hemp. Um, although I don't know if it needs it or not, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. It's still a little bit fuzzy. Um, the wet spinning uh, went well. Um, I did about half of it pulling from the end and then it just kind of went everywhere. Um, and it was, it is so fuzzy. I mean, if you look at my shirt, it's just covered with hair. And, uh, so same, same with my pants. So if you're going to do this, wear an apron when you spin it. Um, now overall it was, it was, it was a pleasant enough spin. Um, I, I enjoyed doing it. Um, it was much better than those other two that we did um, that were just kind of fighting with it to, to draft. This drafted uh, fairly well. Um, again, I felt it did better um, from the fold. So that's how I would recommend doing it. Um, how, but, you know, you spin it however you want if you like going from the end. And if you can do it from the end and fairly consistently, then sure, do it that way. But I also suggest trying it from the fold if you have a little bit of issue with it. Would I spin it again? Absolutely. Um, I don't know if I'd go out of my way to get a whole bunch of it, but it was a pleasant spin. I might try dyeing it, see how it dyes up. I'm, I'm planning on doing some um, natural dyes with some cotton anyway, so maybe I'll toss it in the pot with that and see how it takes up the color with that. So... Um, yeah, uh, Raimi, um, I think is, is actually pretty good. The wet spin is definitely the way to go, even though it came out a little bit fuzzy still. It might be that I, what, my fingers weren't as damp as they needed to be, but it does hold it together fairly well. Um, the reason you wet spin is because it helps uh, unlock the pectin in the fibers and helps it to glue itself together so that your, your, your singles aren't drifting apart. So there's really no finishing that you really need to do with it um other than maybe having to boil it like you do cotton or linen or or hemp like i said um so next time and i'm hoping it's not going to be a month before i do this again i got my box here so let's reach in here let's see what we got here uh hemp linen uh banana more hemp how about we try soybean Sounds interesting. Uh, it, I have a feeling it's going to be like those other ones. So, but we will see um, how it turns out. So, this is it for this this time. Uh, Ramy, definitely a thumbs up for me. Uh, tell me, have you ever spun Ramy before? Um, what were your results? What were your opinions of the fiber? Um, in the long run. So, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Happy crafting. <laughs>